Hey guys, it is uh, Tuesday, July 27th, 2010. Um, I'm going to show you an article here real quick. It's called, uh, it's, the article is called uh, Collecting Rainwater Now Illegal in Many States as Big Government Claims Ownership Over Our Water. And uh, I went to a website and uh, his name is Jim Core, C-O-R-R, -R, and, and uh, he has this this article on here and it's from the Sovereign Independent and this is crazy stuff guys um, but again it's just insight to where we're headed and it's the articles written by Mike Adams the health ranger uh, many of our freedoms we enjoy here in the US are quickly eroding as the nation transforms the land of the free into the land of the enslaved but what I'm about to share with you takes the assault on our freedoms to a whole new level you may not be aware of this, but many western states, including Utah, Washington, and Colorado, have long outlawed individual, individuals from collecting rainwater on their own properties because, according to officials, that rain belongs to someone else. Okay? <laughs> if, if rainwater falls on your property, you can't collect it, apparently, because it belongs to somebody else. Okay, it gets better. As bizarre as it sounds, laws restricting property owners from diverting water that falls on their own homes and land have been on the books for quite some time in many western states. Only recently, as droughts and renewed interest in water conservation method methods have become more common, have individuals and business owners started butting heads with law enforcement over the practice of collecting rainwater for personal use. Um, and they also give a link to um, a YouTube video talking about um, an issue in Salt Lake City. Um, after constructing a large rainwater collection system at his new dealership to use for washing new cars, okay, at this dealership, Miller found out that the project was actually an unlawful diversion of rainwater. Even though it makes logical conservation sense, okay, because we're constantly being pressured to conserve and save, um, he was illegally diverting rainwater, okay? And uh, it's still considered a violation of water rights, which apparently belong exclusively to the Utah's various government bodies. That's insane. Utah's second dry, is the second driest state in the nation. Our laws probably out or ought to catch up with that, explained Miller in response to the state's ridiculous rainwater collection ban. Um, also, under the heading um, Outlawing Rainwater Collection in Other States, it says, Utah isn't the only state with rainwater collection bans either. Colorado and Washington also have rainwater collection restrictions that limit the free use of rainwater. But these restrictions vary among different areas of the states, and legislators have passed some laws to help ease restrictions. Okay, that's positive. Um, also, let's see. As long as people remain unaware and uninformed about important issues, the government will continue to chip away at the freedoms we enjoy. The only reason these water restrictions are finally starting to change for the better is because people started to notice that they work that they work to do something to reverse the law, okay? And I believe we should stand up and say, when there's ridiculous laws like this on the books, we need to stand up and say, hey, you guys, you can go this far, but that's it. No further. Um, today we basically have been reprogrammed to think that we need permission from the government to exercise our inalienable, un inalienable rights. When in fact, the government is supposed to derive its power from, guess who? You and I. The American Republic was designed that the government would serve the people and to protect and uphold freedom and liberty. Uh, but increasingly, our own government is restricting people from their rights to engage in common sense. Okay, I like that part. Fundamental actions such as collecting rainwater or buying raw milk from farm the farmer next door. Okay. When we get restrictions that squeeze us so tight, friends, that we feel claustrophobic, we should have recognized way before that our government is out, you know, it's, it's uh, going out of its bounds. Okay, the, constitutional, uh, the Constitution puts boundaries on our government. Okay, um, it's there to um, put a cap on tyranny. 
put a, you know, before it even gets there. Okay, it's to stop the government from growing too big and getting too oppressive. Okay, they're not, that's not their role. Today we are living under a government that has slowly siphoned off our freedoms, only to occasionally grant us back a few limited ones under the pretense that they're doing us a benevolent favor. Okay, it's kind of uh, two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. Um, and then it goes on, fighting against enslavement. Um, but but it, that is very interesting. Don't you agree? That there's actually laws in, in, in states, and the, mainly the western states, that, you know, if you want to collect a barrel of rainwater, I think it's, it's going to become an issue because water over the years have be, has become more and more scarce. Um, and so to try and stop people from collecting rainwater, you'd think that, that uh, they would recommend collecting rainwater for conservation. And actually part of this article goes into that. Um, the study was done showing that it's more beneficial for homeowners to collect rainwater and use it for their gardens and lawns and things um, than to actually use it from municipal sources, okay, the city and stuff. And so it makes really no sense. I mean, I imagine in extreme cases, yes, but, but generally, I think we should be able to collect our rainwater that falls on our roof, okay? Anyway... I thought you might enjoy that crazy article. Take care, guys.